Oh God, it's focusing on Lauren Hill on my top. This is the face. This is the face you wanna focus on, not this face, this face. my channel today I'm gonna to make my chicken curry which makes my whole family very excited whenever I say I'm making it for dinner it's not at all traditional recipe I literally watched a load of videos on YouTube and I just kind of winged it but it worked it tastes great and I hope if you try it you enjoy it as well I started off we've got some chicken in the oven this makes about eight portions we're a family of seven at the moment during lockdown and it always makes enough for everyone plus an extra portion for someone's like lunch the next day. Um, but you, if you don't want to make that much, you can always freeze it, you can, it freezes for ages, you can put it in the fridge, or you can halve it. We've got one onion that has been chopped up finely because people in my family are quite picky, cough, cough, Madeline and Holly. So I've got that quite finely chopped up with a bit of garlic. Over here, this isn't usually happening, but I've got some chicken stock, which I'm reducing down a bit. Usually I use a little like chicken stock cube, but I made fresh chicken stock at the weekend. So I thought I'd use that in it. That's just reducing down because I've got way too much of it. So I'm just adding more flavor to it and giving me less stock because I don't need too much. The first things first, I'm just gonna take the coconut oil. I don't usually always use this, but I saw it in the cupboard and I was like, wait, we've got coconut oil and I use coconut milk in the recipe so it has quite a nice flavour if you've got it but if you don't, use whatever you want. I'm just going to add a spoonful of that to my hot pan so it can melt down. My oil's all melted down so I'm going to add my onion and my garlic to my oil. Also in this big pot I'm going to add some ginger paste and some lazy chilli. We like this. You could use fresh chilli if you've got fresh chilli. My brother's actually growing some at the moment, which I'm looking forward to using in a curry one day. But at the moment, I'm just using lazy chilli. Just add as much as you want. If you like it really spicy, add a load. If you don't, so I use about half a teaspoon. It's good for our family. We've got varying spice levels, so we've got a couple of all bases and then just a good scoop of ginger then what you're going to do is you're going to cook that off for about 10 minutes because you really want your onions to get really soft so that they take on all the flavour in the sauce I always put the chicken in first before I then start all this stuff because whilst the chicken's cooking it takes about half an hour to cook and um, you can then get on with cooking this stuff because this but at the beginning, it takes a while. You have to cook off your onion for about 10 minutes and then I cook off my spices as well for about 10 minutes. And then from then on, let's just throw everything in, bubble it a bit, and then you're good to go. So it's not too bad. So whilst that's all cooking off, you've just got to stir it every little while. Um, I'll talk to you about what I've got for my spices. Now, this isn't a set thing that I have every single time. I just look in my cupboard to see what I have and just eyeball it, really. So I put in about two teaspoons of smoked paprika, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of ground masala, a teaspoon of turmeric, about half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and then a little sprinkle of coriander, and then I use about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of cinnamon. I saw this on one recipe and thought it was quite good because it, it adds a nice slight sweetness to it. You can also switch this recipe to be vegetarian by putting in, I've made it with lentils, with chickpeas, with potato with halloumi all you do instead of putting chicken stock in you put in a bit of vegetable stock like a vegetable stock cube and it tastes great right so my onions are now cooked They're nice and golden they started going a little bit brown so it's time to add our spices usually when you have the spices you're also meant to cook them off for about 10 minutes so i usually add a little i've got a little cup of water that i add in but because i'm not using a stock jelly i'm just going to add my stock liquid in little bit by bit, little bit just to deglaze the bottom of the pan when it needs it it's looking a little bit dry so i'm just gonna add a little bit of this to, to deglaze it all. it's all come together a bit more it's formed a bit of a paste but not all in one clump it's all spread out still so i'll just cook that off 
for about 10 minutes, adding in a little bit of stock if I see it sticking to the bottom too much. Once that's all combined and it's been cooked off, then we can get on with the next step. Right, so my onions and my spices and my chicken stock, I added the rest of it whilst it was all cooking and sticking, um, has all been cooking for at least 10 minutes now. So now is for the rest of the sauce. So what I put in is a tin of chopped tomatoes and a tin of coconut milk. I saw like people putting in cream into their curries, but I kind of prefer the kind of coconutty taste. If I ever go to like a restaurant, if I see coconut milk, I'm like, so just stir that all together, let that coconut milk melt down if it's not melted already. I think the chicken will be ready in a few minutes, I'll add, I'll add that, but I often like to add some frozen peas, depending on who's eating it. I might add some spinach, because I really like spinach in my curries. I think we've got some red pepper that I might add, it'll be alright, I'll just pick it out, but I quite like a bit of red pepper in my curry as well. So my chicken is out of the oven, it's all cooked, I've checked all of them just to make sure I didn't want to poison the family. But now I'm going to call down my special little helper. Matt! Do you want to come and shred up chicken? Because I, this is my least favourite part. It makes it really good because I shred up the chicken but it's so tedious and I hate it. So I like to get someone to help me to do this little bit. Well, I'm making them a delicious dinner that they all love so the least they can do is help me shred up chicken. Just take two forks and just shred it up. It doesn't need to be neat, messy. Okay. Hello. There's my. You shred the chicken and then you add it to your curry sauce. <laughs> if I did not say that. I thought I could. No, I didn't. I said you had to shred the chicken, but it's quite obvious. It's quite obvious, so, uh, it's quite it's obvious, obvious you have to add it to the sauce, but yeah. So I found this like half a pepper and this little pepper in the fridge, so I thought I'd use that just into rough chunks, doesn't really matter how big it is. The bigger they are, the easier it is for Madeline and Holly to pick out, so. Oh yeah! <laughs> but yeah, it's basically, when you want it, you can just put it on whatever heat you want, and it can just sit simmering until you want to eat it, until you want to put your rice on and stuff. What's the time? It's six. So we could, we could do it soon. It's, it's just bubbling away for a bit, so. I'll let it bubble a bit, then we'll put on the rice, we'll add the peas, plate it up and it will be dinner. Right, so our sauce has thickened up quite nicely. I added a little bit more spice to it, just because I've tasted it and it wasn't that spicy and I thought it needed a bit more spice. Our rice is in the microwave cooking and now we can add our peas to the curry. I'm standing sort of in the rice. 